do not worry. This storm will pass. Everything is going to be okay. As a space traveler, it has been my pleasure to show you new and exciting planets that I discover, but I realize that you and I have not explored underwater, so that's what we're doing today. As you can see, we have a planet with a large ocean, and we're going to jump right into it. Having a exosuit is so nice. I can swim faster than I ever would be able to on my own. It's beautiful, isn't it? For me, traveling should be fun. And that includes traveling through space. Should be fun. So when I discovered this planet, I decided to name it Lada Wada. Lada Wada. Let me spell it for you. L-O-T-T-A space W-A Because it's fun. Now, growing up, I was always afraid of the ocean. Put me in a lake, totally fine. But the ocean is kind of scary. And I'm talking about Earth's ocean, you know. Even we don't know what's really down there, you know. But now that I've gotten accustomed to traveling by land, by air, by sea, come to appreciate the ocean. Look at all the fish just swimming around. You've got this beautiful glowing can be beautiful and dangerous and we love it don't we I love this plant it reminds me of like a ceiling lamp it even illuminates the ocean floor
It's almost like, uh, almost feels like a road here, or a, a path for us to follow. It's very interesting, the colors on this planet. Everything is kind of ultra, ultra saturated. So that's why you're seeing this grayness with these kind of red in the back here. surface. Storms are brewing. Let's I just want to pop back up. Take a peek at this storm. Actually seems pretty calm. I suppose these clouds are gonna cover the sky. Sorry. No stargazing right now. Let's pop back down below. Hello, little friend. It always fascinates me. The underwater life, and the fish and the plants, the way there's still light down below. It's all just very interesting to me. Feel it. I'm curious. Are you 
someone who is afraid of the ocean as well. Maybe you have skipped this video because of that. In which case, you don't hear this question. But maybe if you are here and you are afraid of ocean, I'd be curious because my goal is to make this an enjoyable exploration. So I hope it's not too scary for you. It's just a party down here, isn't it? And that's the thing about a new planet is it looks nothing like home and yet it can feel familiar. I guess oddly enough. I'm more apt to explore the ocean of another planet than my own, which is Earth, by the way, if you've ever heard of it. going forward. I don't know what's beyond. Part of the traveling is when you, you find something, you tend to find it, discover it, and move on. But I set a base up on this planet and I really haven't explored it too much so we're gonna find out together just what's out here came across this. Yeah, so I built this. And, yeah, since I am here, why not, right? use the submarine too often. Just going to 
I'm gonna pop back in the service. I don't think we need a submarine today. of a, an obstructed view for you, so you can take it in. And I gotta say, just like a lot of animals I've come across, on the surfaces. So far, the underwater life has been pretty nice. what I'm thinking when I'm doing this right now, because it's all beautiful. You know, I have a couple friends who are also space travelers. And one of them has an underwater base that he has built. And honestly, I've never really thought about it. Or at least uh, in a serious way. You know, I thought, well, yeah, it'd be cool, but I've never actually gone and done that. And uh, now that we're kind of going through all this, it's making me think that it would actually be a pretty fun idea, I think. life of a, a traveler where you, you can set up shop, you can build a home, make a base, but because I'm always traveling, trying to find new adventures, new places to visit, to explore. In a way, nothing feels like home. My spaceship is really my home, if I think about it. That's where I spend the most time, in the cockpit of my spaceship.
but nevertheless, I have built many bases, several home away from home. So, I might. I mean, maybe I should just do it just so I can say that, hey, yes, I have quite a lot of bases, including an underwater base. I'm going to go over it and hope it doesn't go off when I do. Oh my gosh, it just went off. It's funny where we just kind of fall, follow the light, right? I think this would be a lot different if we didn't have that. Ooh. We found ourselves a little underwater cave here. enough that was tingly for me okay yeah this is pretty cool keep going further and you never know this could be going to nothingness, just a dead end, but I'm gonna travel it just the same. Luckily, I do have some tools if we get in trouble like that. Which looks like, oh, <laughs> well, there we go. Looks like we're okay. Everything is good. All right. Yeah, I don't, uh, there's something about caves that I just, I love. And I suppose, I don't get so claustrophobic. I really only get claustrophobic if I'm in a small space with people, you know, but when I'm traveling by myself like this, I'm okay with it, left or right, let's go this way. Looks like we might be going back out of this cave, perhaps. Oh, oh man. 
isn't this just wonderful? It absolutely would not be possible without my exosuit. Technology is neither good or bad, it's kind of how we use it. It's incredible that I'm able to explore underneath for such a long time. And, uh, well, looks like we have to go even further down. Follow the light. I mean, but I'm not wrong, am I? Like, if you extracted this planet, this hung it upside down on your ceiling. It'd be the talk of the party. That would be a beautiful chandelier. Just stop making that prediction because <laughs> we have still a little more to go. rejuvenating down here. I'm kind of forced to be in the moment, you know, just, I'm not gonna come down here and scroll through my phone. huge myth is that a lot of us are searching for treasure of some kind. I, I've heard that before. That, oh, you, you go into X, Y, and Z to look for gold or the Holy Grail. You, you're not going to find it. Um, and I don't care that it's incredibly cliche because it's absolutely true it's not the destination my friend it is a journey and that's what keeps it interesting and fun and meaningful to me. thinking about all the 
what times we've explored these beautiful surfaces. Now I feel bad that I haven't really explored underneath for a lot of places I've been. We're here now, we're exploring it now, we can be happy now. Man, so many decisions. still get weather updates because it doesn't seem to affect what we're doing too much. like a spotlight. I wish I knew more about aqua marine, aqua marine life. So I apologize if it's not as educational as some people may like. Experience it together, see it together, and who knows, maybe it'll motivate you to travel and try it yourself. going to make a base underwater, it would make even more sense to build it in an underwater cave, would it not? I'm just saying, maybe it's more of a a house hunting type of vibe, but I'm not sure, I don't know, I'm just talking. Oh man, it just keeps going and I love it. I am here for it. Nature. 
nature's way of guiding you through the darkness. It's almost like it's asking you to explore. had the need to turn on my flashlight because it's so well lit down here. It's remarkable in that way. What is going on here? You're doing okay. Hope you're enjoying this exploration. And we're going to go further yet. down here, but there's still plenty of light to guide us. minutes ago when I was like, yeah, well, looks like we're almost out of this cave. It just keeps on going. Really turned around there. Okay. No need to panic. Everything 
everything's okay. Right. We'll go this way then. also the idea that if you're a traveler of any kind, but maybe as a space traveler, that you have a good sense of direction. That's not always the case. I can get turned around quite easily. Even now, I'm wondering, have I been this way before? The important thing is to, to not overload your brain. Keep moving forward. Oh. <laughs> This was a lot of fun today, and if you want to see me explore new worlds, consider subscribing, and we'll see each other real soon.